Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, pick your team number eight. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. Here on Monday, April the 3rd, 2023. If you got a little rooftop next game, that means you won that spot in the filler. If you got double rooftops, that means you won like an extra spot in the filler and then won that team. And Victor, you ended up with double last spot mojo with the Dolphins and Eagles. You bought the last two teams before we pulled the remaining teams for the filler. And you remember when we did the break last night, I tagged all of those with number eight so that we know that this was for pick your team eight. And away we go. Good luck, everybody. Five autographs a box. A lot of times we've been seeing six autographs a box. No vet common ship. Everything else does. Inserts, rookie cards, so on and so forth. Autographs, obviously, numbered cards, so on and so forth. Uh, we were looking at the NFL headlines previously. Not too much happening there. I guess everyone's just, the NFL world's just waiting for the draft to happen. We do have, uh, obviously, baseball is back. We got some baseball action happening here. We have any finals? Yeah, we got the uh, Giants pounding on the White Sox. They beat them 12-3. Giants had four homers in the fifth inning. Brewers shut out the uh, Mets 10-0. Mets only managing three hits. I thought when you win the offseason, you're supposed to uh, win the regular season, right? Did they win the offseason? I guess the Padres maybe won the offseason. The Padres split the series with the Rockies. 2-2. Two, two. All right. Uh, what happened in that? Oh, Bryce. Hey, some of you may have some Bryce Turing cards. Rookie cards in some of our baseball breaks. Hit his first major league home run today. And then we got some games in progress on TV. I've got Cubs at Reds. I've got a little financial interest in the Reds winning this game. They were the home dogs. They're up 4-3, but Cubs have runners at second and third with only one out. Twins are up 8-0 on the Marlins. Top of the fifth. Yankees up 2-0 on the Phillies. Top of the third. And then we have um, Rays leading the Nationals 4 nothing. Bottom of the fourth, Pirates, Red Sox, pretty close. Red Sox only up by a run, 5-4. Top of the third, Royals up on the Blue Jays, 3 nothing. Top of the second, and Braves, Cardinals tied at one. They just started. They're in the bottom of the first. All right, there's Jordan Davis, rookie ticket autograph, last spot mojo. Eagles, Victor with the Eagles. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. That's right, D-back did split with my Dodgers 2-2. Two, two. That's different though, no one, no one was saying the Dodgers won the offseason. I mean, everyone said the Dodgers are terrible because they did nothing in the offseason. So by that logic, splitting the series 2-2 two, two, with the young upstart Diamondbacks is a good result. Terrible result for the Padres. You can't split the series 2-2 with the Rockies after winning the offseason. Expectation levels just change just like that. There's Armani Rogers. The touchdown tandems will go to uh, Victor and the Dolphins. Armani Rogers for Washington. That'll be for Andrew and the Commanders. All right, see you, Michael. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yep. Hey, did we uh, schedule? Some, did we schedule uh, with Marin like another full day? This I, week? I told her I'd uh, talk to you. If okay. Thursday works again. Thursday works good. again for me. Cool. Awesome. Let's do it. Another little training day for my colleague Michael. Any guesses on that redemption over there for bragging rights? We got Cam Taylor Britt, CTV. Going to Aaron and the Bengals.
And we got a Isaac Taylor Stewart. That's going to go to Jeremy in Dallas. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break as well. And we got another eagle. It's Mario Goodrich. That's for Victor and the Fly Eagles Fly. Redemption is is Amir White. Rookie ticket RPS for my Raiders. That's going to go to Steve Herrick. Got my Raiders in the filler. Josh Jacobs had such an amazing season that Samir White really didn't get a lot of work in, but he's got fresh legs. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see a little more Zamir White this season. I heard some talk about, you know, with Josh Jacobs' improved pass catching abilities, there's a shot that they might they might pull Josh Jacobs out more more what slot receiving scenarios and then use Zamir White more as the back kind of give give Josh Jacobs a little bit of a lesser lighter running back workload could be could be interesting. Everyone had the over on the Pirates-Red Sox game, right? It's already 5-5 in the top of the third. Let's see who's doing damage in that, uh, in that game. Got Brian Reynolds with an RBI. Smith uh, Jigba with two RBIs. Cabrian Hayes with an RBI. Sawinski with an RBI. Brian Rounds had a home run. We got a Devers home run, a Casas home run, and a Yoshida home run for the Red Sox. We got a DeMarvin Leal, rookie ticket autograph for the Steelers. That'll be uh, Sean Maddock, got the Steelers straight up. And we've got a Jesse Lucada. Rookie ticket autograph for Joseph and the Cardinals. Oh, I guess that's E S S E. All right. I was like, that doesn't look like Jesse, but that's it's a big J. It's opting not for the uh, last name part. And we've got a rookie ticket autograph, Zonovan Knight. Steve with the Jets. I like that Z. That Z's pretty cool. And we got a Desmond Ritter on card rookie ticket autograph for Rob in the ATL. The Dirty Birds. Always nice to see the quarterback autographs. Maybe we'll find him as well. We got touchdown tandems, 25 out of 99. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, great tandem there. And we got Raiders linebacker Darren Butler. Darian Butler. Raiders, Steve Harrod.
We got Zachary Carter. Zach Carter for Cincinnati. Aaron, we're on to Cincinnati. Another box. A lot of, a lot of runs here. Cubs up 6-4 now on the Reds. After the Reds were up 4-3. Top of the fifth. Got a little bit of financial interest in the uh, in the success of the Reds. And the Royals. I think the Royals are up though, which is good. Still early though. Royals are up three nothing. Oh, there's former Dodger Edwin Rios up there for the Cubs. Edwin Rios had a lot of potential. Still does, but injuries kept getting in the way. Shoulder injuries, some other injuries, but he's got light tower power if he ever puts all that, puts a healthy season together. All right, next box. We got legendary contenders Jerry Rice, one out of 99. First one ever made. We got Jerome Ford, rookie ticket autograph in landscape mode. Cleveland, this is for you. It's going to go to Matthew. With the Browns. This will also be part of that left-right randomizer that we're going to do at the end. Oh, this wasn't flipped around. Tyler Algier. Rookie Ticket Auto for Rob and the ATL. I had some nice moments last year. Hopefully he takes it to the next level this upcoming year. We've got a Cardinal coming up. It is Jalen Thompson, rookie ticket autograph for the Redbirds. That's going to go to Joseph. We've got Brees Hall, rookie ticket on card autograph for the Jets. That's for Steve Herrick. I think before uh, injury, I feel like. He was on his way to getting some uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year consideration. All right, halfway through this half case break. Got about another 15, 20 minutes to go. We'll go through some orders after this and we'll see what else we're gonna accomplish tonight. Hopefully the break credit. Let's not leave money on the table. Check out all the details of the break credit promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com and on the break schedule. Click the promo tab on the break schedule. What's going on in the any NBA action happening tonight? There are no games today? Today's Monday the 3rd. There are no games scheduled today in the NBA? Why is that? 
That seems odd, doesn't it? No NBA games tonight. A, b a bunch tomorrow. My Lakers at Utah. That should be a W. Right, college championship. That makes sense. Thank you, Brandon. That's coming on in about an hour or so. It's 5.13, my LA time. I think it's a 6.20ish. As a UC San Diego alum, San Diego State is kind of a rival. <laughs> they were never in the same division. But I suppose, uh, I suppose I can root for San Diego State. Six o'clock. I mean, we're on the last handful of games for the basketball season. I think we're down to the last three or four games of the basketball season, boys and girls. That's going to be it's going to be pretty exciting. I think it's going to come down for my Lakers anyway. It looks like it's going to come down to the last game of the season before they know if they're in or out or what position they're even in. They could finish as high as fifth, fourth, or fifth seed. I want to say they can finish as low as out of the playoffs. 36 out of 99, touchdown tandems, Brady and Evans. It's going to go to the Buccaneers. That's for Rob. We got, we got Lance McCutcheon. It's a catch. Nice. And that's for Simon and the Rams. And we've got a Troy Anderson. I wonder if there's any relation to uh, Morton Anderson. Remember Morton Anderson? It's for Rob and Atlanta. catch and we've got Jordan Stout rookie ticket autograph for the Ravens Aaron with the Ravens another autograph it's gonna be Buffalo Khalil Shakir for Jerry and the Buffalo Bills. And nice, nice on card rookie ticket autograph, Kenneth Walker. Solid season last year for uh, the Seahawks. That's gonna go to Justin. All right, two more boxes to go. Uh, who does everyone have in that college basketball game tonight? In the women's side, man, the, the LSU just smoking Iowa. That uh, that coach for the LSU women's team, I feel like she's gone to like three or four different places and won a national title in each of those spots, so... LSU getting their first title in program history. Is this the same for the, for the men? Will this be the first men's title for San Diego State or UConn? I know the UConn women have won a lot. Would this be the first for the men? Did they win maybe Kemba Walker's year maybe? Did they win? I don't know. My college... That's why I can't do sports jeopardy. My college knowledge... Not very strong. It's definitely the first for San Diego State. If they if they happen to win. That's gotta be a first for them. Oh, 
Oh, men's going for their fifth. Okay, I see. For the UConn. <laughs> Randall likes the LSU coach. Oh, well, that's that's what winning does, Randall. That's what winning does. Winning makes makes anyone look attractive. Be a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Seen flashes last time I was at the Final Four in Houston. UConn won against the Butler. So yeah, so I guess UConn's been there before. All right, another handful of autographs. Good luck, everybody. We got Jonathan Taylor autograph. Veteran ticket on-card autograph. Nice. And we got a home run for Jason Vossler. Three-run homer. Second of the season. Putting the Reds back up. Man, it's been back and forth, this Cubs-Reds game. This is a nice one for the Blue Horseshoes. Rob won the Colts in the filler. Put the Viking helmet on him. There's Romeo Dobbs with the nice uh, rookie card pattern back there. I think that looks really sharp. That goes to Joseph and the Packers. Picked up the Packers straight up. That Viking helmet is on. I kind of like that Viking helmet idea. Good job, Reds. It's fun. And we got a Michael Thomas playoff ticket card to 199. That's for the Saints. It's for Rob. We got uh, Okongwu. Shigozin Okongwu for the Titans. Rob with Tennessee. We got Federian Mathis for Andrew in Washington. Whose house? Stone House. Ryan Stone House. Rob with the Titans. Got a, another one of those rookie step and repeat pattern in the background. That's Brandon Smith showcase ticket autograph for Jeremy in Dallas. All right, final box coming up. Thanks everyone for getting in. If you want more football, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got pre orders for limited football. Loaded up. That drops uh, in a couple days on Wednesday. Pre-order now. Get your team before someone else does. Who does everyone have for tonight's uh, college basketball championship game? Five seed San Diego State is uh, the quote-unquote row team. Four seed UConn is the favorite. They're minus uh, seven and a half. According to ESPN's analytics, UConn has a 74.3% chance of winning. Anyone thinking upset? Anyone Scott San Diego State? My colleague Michael Jasky is a San Diego State alum. He's obviously going for San Diego State. He splashed a little on the money line and is going plus seven and a half. Stephen Flat says, I'm on SCSU tonight. They're older than like five NBA teams. Yeah, they, they do got they do have a lot of upperclassmen. A lot of experience. They're not gonna get rattled. They'll play their game. They'll be disciplined. Are they really? They're older than like five NBA teams? That wouldn't surprise me.
Brandon will take San Diego State. Would love to see the upset. I, I do too, I think. I do too. Well, hey, make us your second screen tonight. Watch the watch the basketball game or a baseball game, and we'll be your second screen. Here's uh, Derek Young. That is going to go to uh, Justin and the Seahawks. Final box coming up here. First auto of the final box. We have a purple bird. We got David Ojabo. For Aaron and the Ravens. Wow, that's that's a crazy stat, Stephen saying. Average age of STSU is 23. Spurs, Rockets, Thunder, and Pistons have a lower average age. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Here is Tyler Linderbaum for Aaron and the Ravens. I'll bet if the San Diego State team played uh, played the Spurs, maybe not the Rockets with them, but played the Spurs in seven games, how many games is San Diego State winning? I say a couple in a seven game series. Here's George Pickens, autograph, nice showcase ticket auto. It's a sharp looking parallel. That's gonna go to Sean Maddock and the Steelers. We got a Saquon Barkley, two out of 99, MVP contenders. That'll be for the Giants, that'll be for Jeremy. Oh, maybe two's a lot, they're still an NBA team. Maybe if they're getting plus points, they'll, uh, they'll cover a few times maybe. And we got whose house? Stonehouse, Ryan Stonehouse. Rookie ticket autograph for Rob and the Titans. Starting your uh, your Stonehouse PC, whether you intended to or not, Rob. Anything else here? You got one more, no? No, maybe not. All right, before we do the uh, recap, let's do the left-right randomizer. Pretty solid break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for knocking out this contenders. I appreciate it. All right, so let's go back to random.org. Let's get a clean list here. We got left, right on the randomizer. Let's roll it, randomize it. Low number, low number. Seven times, five and a two. Side on top gets it after seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's gonna go to the left side, so left side teams will get them. If this was a dual autograph, I would, do the dual autograph in a separate dice, or a separate randomized or separate list in case you were curious about that. I think numbered cards, I'll probably just keep the same left, right randomizer. All right, so we got the uh, nice George Pickens for Sean Maddock and the Steelers. Pretty solid break overall. Jonathan Taylor. Got some nice on-card autographs. Some landscape mode, a little Brees Hall. Desmond Ritter, of course. Zamir White for the Raiders. So a lot of solid stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.